Welcome on this lovely Sunday afternoon to Thurrock Oakfield. We're on the 4G pitch again. I thought I'd try and get ahead of myself instead of usually uh, trying to chase the team sheet. So I've got them in hand. So today the ref is going to be Jack Pitt. The Thurrock T-Birds is Rosie Bennett at one. Two is Kat Scrutton. Three, Maria Waghorn. Four, Emily Grant. Five, Tammy Nichols. Six, Amy Bradford. Seven, Frank Thomas. Eight, Jess Cockett. Nine, Georgina Cook. Ten, Hannah Girdleston. Eleven, Meg Palsy. Twelve, Holly Edgeway, who's the captain today for Thurrock. Uh, Elsie Burns, 13. Beth Townsend, 14. Ola Abergundi, 15. And for Westcliff, at one we have Emily Riseborough. Apologies if I get these names wrong the spelling or the uh, pronunciation sorry two Heidi Ells three Amy Harcourt four Maddie Davies five Poppy Reed six Queenie Lomboy seven Kirsty Johnston eight Scarlett Harvey nine Sophie Scanlon ten Izzy Beadle eleven Sarah Needham twelve Charlotte Grant thirteen Martha Smith I'm trying to read my own writing here fourteen Bo Cobden 15 years under down. Uh, this is the final game of the season for T Birds 2. And Westcliff as well, I believe. This is, uh, we thought this was going to be the final decider, but I believe T Birds 2 have already won the league. So this is just the final match of the year, just to keep the girls in trim. Thorak T-Birds 2 are off to Twickenham in May, May 12th, is that right? Yeah, May 12th to play in the finals of the Papa John's Cup and next week I believe is the T-Birds first team have got their semi-final against Sale here at Oakfield and uh, that will see whether they come and join us in the in the finals of Twickenham. So Westcliff just coming out onto the pitch. Sorry if there's any noise, tapping or whatever, that's uh, the wind interfering with the equipment and cables and whatever just blowing all over the place. I might have to take this off at half time. T-Birds now come out onto the pitch. It's Georgia Cook there. Frank Thomas. Ola. And Maddie. Uh, Maddie. Sorry, I'm getting my name mixed up. Tammy. Tammy and Maddie mixed up. Got nowhere to put the book. The ref today is Jack Pitt. We almost didn't have uh, coverage today as this stand was locked up and I couldn't get access. But we used the magic key. So, so that's T Birds to start us off, kicking straight into the wind. Nice low kick there by Hannah. Accepted by Tammy, I believe that is. It's difficult to see because the sun's shining on the screen. I'm not complaining about the sun because it's beautiful to have it. So Westcliff in possession, advancing on Thurrock. Yes. Now the Scarlet Harvey making good ground there for Westcliff. I'm hoping you can hear me because it is very blowy up here today. Even worse than yesterday on the top of the scaffolding. So penalty to Westcliff. Far not releasing. Westcliff nine to kick to touch. Gone over the head of Meg. Westcliff nine being Sophie Scanlon.
believe this is the uh, tail end of Storm Kathleen giving us a bit of a whipping today. What? What? So line out to Westcliff, just inside the, oh straight to the hands of T-Birds. Little fumble there, ball's gone to ground, the T-Birds still in possession, shipping it right. Hitting the Westcliff front line direct. Chip it out to Maria. Maria to Holly. Holly to Jess. Jess now running through. Jess ships it out to Ola. Ola looking for a run and she's finding it. Streaking down the right wing. Now into the Westcliff half. Out to Jess. Sorry if the screen went blank then, the, uh, the cable's in very tight here, sometimes as I turn the camera, I think the connection releases. I'll try and keep an eye on it on the laptop and correct it when it does happen. So Farrakh back in possession. Still in their own half, just outside their 22. Now starting to push hard. Cookie with a kick up field, but the wind has caught it and not made, let it go very far. Westcliff taking their time to intercept the ball. Ball down well by Hannah. Westcliff still in possession. How you doing? Good <laughs> A forward pass there by Westcliff. 
Two birds back in possession. Now in the Westcliff half. Scrum down, cook it to put the ball in for two birds. Great scrum by both sides, Farrak coming out with the ball, Cookie with a little flick in the air, ball's gone loose, Westcliff back on it, Cookie over, been pushed aside, Westcliff back in possession, pushed hard, another decision to Westcliff, but Westcliff again looking for touch. Not finding it. Ball goes straight to Beth's safe hands. Great catch. She's running across field and brought to the ground just outside the 22. Shift the ball out to Tammy. Tammy driving forward. Book to ground. Goes out to Jess. Jess now driving forward. Great few metres made there. Now Rosie's driving forward, another few metres into the Westcliff half. Cookie digs it out. That's a Frank. Shipping across the left side of the field. Holly driving straight through the middle of the Westcliff pack, making great ground, just shy of their 22 now. Cookie ships it out to Jess, I think that is, I couldn't see. I'm not sure you caught that because the screen went off again. I'm trying to adjust the cables, there's not a lot I'm going to do, I'm afraid. But there's a first try down to Farrah T Birds. Who scored it, man? Apologies, couldn't see who scored that. Yeah, we got it. I think you may have seen it, so thank goodness for that. But apologies for any of these blackouts. I've moved the cables, there's not a lot more I can do. I think she's got a 5 0 T Birds pending Hannah's conversion. It's hard to do in this wind. Over this really strong, windy Kathleen pushing the ball back towards Hannah. It's going to be difficult. Yes. But she slotted that straight through. Great conversion there by Hannah. That brings
And I've just been informed that that was Frank, Frank Thomas that scored that goal. That try, sorry. Well done, Frank. Frank, just coming back to us. Trying to drive out their own half. It's there from Westcliff. Chipped across to the left wing. Beth ran out running with the ball. Watch the line! Go, Tease! Cookie brought down, all the way over the top. Cat in attendance. Go, Tease! Go down! It's a pull! Can you do this? Can you keep an eye on the screen to make sure it doesn't go back? Let me know if it does. Yeah. T-Bird shipping the ball across the centre now into the Westcliff half. That's Tammy with the ball. Tammy gone to ground. Cookie out to... Cut Kira, I think that was. Rosie now driving through Westcliff. Being held up. Still making another couple of metres. It's deemed she's not released the ball. Didn't give her time to even hit the floor there. Give it a chance, ref. So again, Westcliff looking for touch. Lovely. Which they find. So line out to Westcliff. It's gone straight to the T-Birds. Hannah running down the middle, bit of a loose pass. Holly with the ball. Great clear out there by T-Birds. I believe it was Kira. The, the wind is playing havoc with the passes today. As soon as the ball's launched into the air, it's just drifting backwards. Westcliff need to be making the most of this while they have the wind with them in the first half. Now we've got sand being whipped up from the building site that is the new school. T-Bird's still in possession. Trying to work down that left wing to get into the... Westcliff half. Westcliff have now turned it over and in possession. Shipping the ball to the centre, the ball's gone a bit loose. Westcliff putting up a good show in here. Just into the T-Birds half. Ball's come out low. T-Birds have dived on it. And it comes out. Rosie's come out with the ball as she's trying to drive through the pack again. Now out to Tammy. Tammy to Elsie. Now reached. Beth. Beth gone to ground. Tammy now driving forward, head down. Cookie looking to ship the ball out. Emily now driving forward. Finis Kira now with the ball. Also driving forward, pushing away through the Westcliff pack. Emily with the ball again, going into contact. Chipping the ball left now. T-Bird's looking for that 
gap in the Westcliff defence. The ref's blown up, I can't see what for. Head injury by the look of it. One of the Westcliff players is on the floor. So she's getting to her feet. It looks like she's fit to continue. It's always good to see. Oh. Quick refreshment break there. Scrum down on the West Cliff 22. Not happy with the scrum again. Score remains at 7 0. I have my assistant here feeding me information from her phone because I can't see the screen on the laptop. Great scrum by T Birds. Ball shipped out. Cookie to Hannah. Hannah to Elsie, I believe that is. Elsie streaking for the line, hitting two free players, bring the, brought down. Ball shipped out to Hannah now. Hannah looking for that try, but not there yet. T Bird's banging on that second try. Door, oh, and the ball's gone loose. Knock on. It's always handy. <laughs> so scrum down just on the five metre line. Great drive by T-Birds, ball shipped back by Westcliff, magnificent kick. The wings really caught that and brought it almost halfway down the pitch. Well, a third maybe. I'm exaggerating, I'm told I've got a tendency to do that. As mentioned before, this uh, wind is playing havoc with the the set pieces, well, with everything really, the set pieces, the kicking, the passing, you see the ball floating through the air and all of a sudden it just turns 90 degree left, or left from the camera position anyway. So T-Bird's line out, it's gone straight this time, the wind just dropped just in time for Cat to take that throw. T-Bird's pushing, Tammy goes to ground. Ball's being shipped left now. Elsie's going through the middle of the pack. There must be five, six players on her. And she's still going. Seven, eight players. Looks like she wants this one desperately. Ball down just short of the line. Support in attendance. 
Chip right again. Uh, just two four and there's a knock on by both sides. So scrum down on the five metre for uh, Westcliff. Elsie looking a little bit dejected there. I think she thought she had that after battling through probably seven or eight players. Great showing. Uh, it looks like she may have knocked her head on the floor. She's staying down. to continue just had a quick rewind on the phone there and it looks as if she went down heavy and maybe knocked her head a little bit on the floor but she's happy with it so free to continue sideline there sadly injured herself during training would really like to be on the pitch today but she's supporting the girls from the sideline another t-bird there Izzy Lush running the waters on and off for the second team it's nice to see the uh, first and second team support each other so hardily once again ref not happy with the scrum Gobby Gabby giving instructions to Ola from the sideline. Another strong scrum by T Birds. Ball's gone loose. It's now a knock on to Furrick. Cookie looking like she's struggling to get the ball down. Now Rosie's pushing for the line. Also brought to ground short. T Birds needs to be patient here. Cookie ships the ball out to Tammy. Tammy to. Another try given. You see who scored? Think Kira. I believe that may have been Kira that scored that one. But it's difficult to tell when you've got so many bodies diving over the line. converts a second try that brings the score to 14 nil I believe that may have been Jess that scored that try. We're shipping out to the right, Frank now in possession, driving her way through the Westcliff pack, driven off the field. Great run there by Frank. 
wouldn't have thought she'd been away for a year, would you? Two of the vets there, happy with one another. Line out to Westcliff in the Westcliff half. Rosie straight on the Westcliff defence. Westcliff still in possession. Looking for that quick go. T-Bird's not having it. Pushing them further and further into their own half. Almost into their own 22 now. Still running across field. Looks like Meg's brought the Westcliff player down and again they're off running but brought down and out and off the pitch. It appear there's a, another Westcliff player down on the near side of the pitch. I believe she was kicked in the head by one of her own team in the melee that was just in front of us. I didn't quite see what happened, I'd have to review the, the footage, but my assistant is duly playing uh, TMO and going backwards and forwards through her phone. <laughs> I'll introduce you to her in a little while. That's right. <laughs> She's looking a little windswept <laughs> and is a bit camera shy. Just a bit. <laughs> That's Maddie Davis for Westcliff. She's up on her feet, but it looks like she's leaving the field. Not sure who she's being replaced by. It's convenient, she's got a little trolley there to sit on. They might wheel her back out later. So scrum down on the Westcliff 22. Another great drive by T-Birds. Balls out. Jess off and running again. Driving through the Westcliff defence. Runs straight into a brick wall there. Looked like it was a shoulder rather than a, an attempt at a tackle. Cookie ships the ball out to Hannah. Hannah ducks and dives. Driving for that line. Ball to ground on the five metre. Out to Jess. Jess now diving for the line. Has that been held up or is that down? Ref's having a word with both captains now. Tap and go! Yeah, you can't tap and go when... Was it Yeah. Oh, no. The ref's having a word with the captains. I believe the ball was held up there. So it's going to be a goal line dropout for Westcliff. Not sure what that was for. Interception there by Jess, little panic there by Westcliff, and then ball finally kicked into touch. So line out to Westcliff inside of their 22. Thank you. No, I, I was wondering why it was a line out to Westcliff. It is actually a line out to T Birds. 
I think someone's getting confused down there and trying to confuse me. Doesn't take a lot, I know. But here comes the ball. Cookie to take it. No, cat, sorry. She's lost her scrum cap, so I'm misidentifying her now. They're just trying to confuse me now because they know that I have problems identifying anybody on this little screen. Great drive on the mall now by T-Birds. Heading for the, t the try line. Being steered towards the touch line. Cookie gets the ball out. Great dive there by Jess, I think that was, to maintain possession of the ball without knocking it on. Ship it across to the centre now. Holly grabs it, and now she's driving forward again. Makes up another three, four metres. Ball shipped to Frank again. I think that was Frank. Now out to Hannah. Hannah to Elsie. Elsie again running for the line. I believe that was Elsie that got that one. That's the third try to throw T-Birds there. There was a recent interview on uh, BBC Radio Essex with Holly and Elsie and the coach Yarrow. And Elsie was identified as one of the top scorers in, in this league. And her tally today is helping towards that. And then we have the So 19 nil for T Birds. Sorry if the screen's gone a bit dark, but I'm pointing almost directly into the sun. Caught that and it's just dropped short. So the score remains at 19 0 for T Birds. Sophie Scanlon to restart the game for Westcliff. <laughs> Big kick downfield. Ball's rolled into touch just by the corner flag. Take the line out for T Birds. Ball's in the air. The wind hey! doesn't. Yep. The wind has affected it, as I said. Let's go! It's turned it. Get the ball! It's difficult to tell from the camera, but this wind is unbelievably strong today. And he's making a, a real big difference. See, it's even blowing the camera. <laughs> Folk come away with the ball. I think that's Frank again. Frank talking about not coming back to rugby and she's making such an impression on this game. We'd sorely miss her if she didn't. Kick downfield. Westcliff's trying to intercept and they kick it back. Now offside. T-Bird's running to take a quick tap and go. Westcliff a little bit too... Uh, cookie kicking for me. Westcliff a little bit too eager to kick the ball back and finding their own players offside. Would have been easier to have just picked that 
ball up and run forward again, but it's a split second decision. And hindsight's a wonderful thing. Cat to put the ball in, straight into Frank's hands. Frank to Cookie, Cookie to Hannah. Ball goes back to Holly. The ref sees that it went forward. From this angle, it was definitely backwards, but you can't argue with the ref. And even if you do, it does no good. Scrum down to Westcliff, just inside the T Birds half. Ball's gone in. Good scrum by both sides. Frank grabs hold of the nine, holding her up. Ref's calling release. He's let her go. He's gone to ground. Where's the ref? Thought there was a penalty coming there, but he's allowed it to continue. Ball's been shipped out and kicked again. Great tackle there by T-Birds. Westcliff shipping the ball out right. T-Birds holding them tight. Westcliff not releasing, tap and go there. Cookie on the way. Gone backwards again. And the ref agrees with me this time. Or maybe he doesn't. Descent there. The ref's marching T-Birds back. It's silly doing that. Trying to tap and go there, but the ref hadn't even finished walking. There's a Westcliff player on the floor in front of the ref. I'm not sure whether she's just tying her laces or, or whether she's injured. Right, looks like Westcliff are going to try and kick to touch this time with this wind in their favour. Oh no, they haven't. It tap and go. Personally, I would have gone for the corner and uh, used the benefit of this strong wind. There to get on a cameraman and not a rugby player. Great kick downfield by Westcliff. Ola picks it up. Now streaking across the, the pitch. Going left, going right, being brought to ground. Now Beth trying to drive through the, the pack. Now Rosie's coming through and trying to drive through the pack. Everybody wants to butt heads today. Nobody wants to ship the ball out. Probably because of his win. Now Tammy's driving forward. She's making great headway. Now into the Westcliff half. Shipping across to Hannah. Hannah now out to... I think that's Jess. Jess gets it to Elsie again, I think that is. Elsie brought to ground. Just inside the Westcliff 22. need someone with a pair of binoculars feeding me these names because it's really, really difficult to see today. Need to go and get my baseball cap. Farrak pushing across to the centre and still advancing on the Westcliff positions. Now Tammy's driving forward. Farrak banging on the try line again. Now going left. It's not quite there. Oh, 
trying to dig the ball out. And there it is. I think that may have been Frank again. Can't see no. I believe it was Rosie. Did you see who scored that name? Is it Rosie? Another try to T Birds. Got to 24 nil T Birds pending this conversion. There's another West Cliff player on the, the ground. Yeah, it's Rosie. Just had it confirmed by my assistant, it was Rosie that scored that one. The arrow striding across the pitch confidently, meeting up with Lewis, exchanging words. Probably patting each other on the back. <laughs> Hannah slots that one beautifully just inside the left post. Wonderful conversion there. Brings the score to 26 nil to Thurrock T-Birds. Still a Westcliff player down near the try line over by the posts in the Westcliff half, being tended to. So it might be Izzy Beadle that's down. I think it may have been a, a knock to the head. I'm just listening to what the Westcliff players are saying, so. Not sure how accurate this information is. Addition to the T Birds. Maybe a little bit small for the uh, the current setup, but it won't be long. There's Gabby in the grey coat, still recovering from her broken arm in the game against South End about eight weeks ago. She's hoping to be declared fit by the doctors on the 3rd of May so that she can play in the finals at Twickenham for the Papa John's Cup. She's been dogged by injuries this year, broken finger at the start of the year, came back, played a few games, supposed to be protecting her, her finger and her wrist because she got a strained wrist too. And then in the game against South End, as she dived on a loose ball, got a full on kick and broke her ulna. She's now a Wonder Woman and got a titanium plate in her arm with six screws and a dainty little scar, about six inches long. <laughs> Ref talking to Lewis, the T Birds 2 coach. Looks like she's getting cold. It warmed up by Tammy. <laughs> All the girls coming in for a huddle and a bit of warmth. 
Ref's now blowing up for half time by the look of it. There's the uh, Westcliff player, who I believe is Izzy Beadle, still on the floor. We'll have a short break and uh, see you back soon.
with the second half. Westcliff now kicking into the wind. Scores 26 0 to Forrest T Birds at the moment. Jester hasn't joined the pitch, she's running from the loo, streaking onto the pitch. <laughs> Apologies to the ref. <laughs> and now we're ready to resume. It was quite a, a short intermission there. It's probably due to the amount of time that Westcliff player was on the floor. Holly running straight through the middle of the pack. Just the fullback to deal with. And she gets around her too. She's now running. Just brought to ground and drops the ball. And there's a knock on there by Westcliff. Great run there by Holly. In training for the uh, London Marathon. She thought she was there then. The last Westwood player was just desperately grabbing at her shirt. I can't get my words out. <laughs> desperately grabbing at her shirt and uh, just managed to bring her down. I think Holly was probably surprised that she got that far and uh, thought it was time to, to give it up. So scrum down to Westcliff, I believe, on the Westcliff, or well inside the Westcliff 22. Great drive by Thurrock, moving it forward, and yes, Thurrock win the scrum. I thought there'd be a tap and go there, but there may be another Westcliff player down. Cookie's uh, trying to console her or help her. Cookie now walks off with the ball. Westcliff player, I think it may have been the two. Ideals is now up and ready to continue. So resetting the scrum. <laughs> now, Cookie to put the ball in this time. Thurrock T-Birds. See if they can drive this one all the way over the try line. Great drive again by a Thurrock. Slowly edging their way forward. Cookie ready to go, go blind. She's picked it up and gone herself. And there's another try scored. I can't see who that was. It was Cookie. To add to her tally. Tammy congratulates her as do, do the rest of the teammates. Elsie as well there. That's another five to T-Birds. That brings the score to 31 nil with Thurrock T-Birds. Hannah's to take this conversion, this time with the wind behind her. There's a, a Westliff player down right in front of posts where Hannah's attempting to take her conversion so I'm assuming the ref's going to switch his clock off for the the kick timer I've just noticed the uh, score line says T bids. They're all youngsters, really. I've just amended that. Apologies to the girls. I can't spell now. It's bad enough I can't identify the girls on the pitch and get their names wrong all the time. Now I can't even spell the score line. Hannah patiently waiting to take this conversion. Oh, 
which of the Westcliff players it is. I don't know if it's the number two again. Whether she was injured in that first scrum and then was okay to get up and get back into the second scrum. But now it appears that she's gone down again, if it is the same one. Emily Riseborough is there helping. No, it's the three this time. I thought it was the two last time. Three is Amy Harcourt. She's sitting up now. Gabby having a chat with Elsie. Looks like Amy Harcourt's up, but leaving the field. Kaylee running the line today. Back to the game, Hannah still to take this conversion. It's going to make it that much more difficult. Having stopped and lost her, her focus and momentum, hopefully she'll be able to plonk it back on the tee and, and get back in the zone. chat with the Westcliff team, I'm not sure what's going on. Is now being given the okay to proceed. It's a run up, nice kick. Unfortunately, it's gone left, I believe. It's difficult to tell from this angle. So the score remains at 31 0 T Birds. Scarlett Harvey running down the field, waving at her sister who plays for Thurrock T Birds Ones. I believe her sister's here as well, holding her baby. Waving her around. to restart us. Ball goes straight to Jess, I believe that is. Which, oh, very high tackle there by the uh, Westcliff one, I believe that was, or maybe five. 
Berwick still advancing, still have possession of the ball. It was Tammy with the ball there, driving forward. It's not Tammy, I've just been told. Hannah with a boot downfield. T Bird's chasing hard. Westcliff's taking a long time to pick the ball up. Refs bring it back for the high tackle. It's unfortunate. Cookie to take the kick for touch. The wind's just dropped, so it looks like it's just going to hang in the air. Oh no, it's hit the floor yes. and it's running strong yes. right down in the corner. Thought the wind was holding that ball up, but it landed and Westcliff just couldn't get their mitts on it. It's gone right down into the far corner. Apologies if you can't see it because the lamppost is in the way. As is our, uh, our issue with a lot of these pitches nowadays. I think it's Cat to take the line out. Yes it is. Straight to Frank's hands. Straight into the mall. Driving forward. Over the line now. And there's the next try. Who's this one? Is that Cookie again? Yes, it is. Cookie gets her second, or is that third? <laughs> she keeps saying she doesn't want to play. She wants to retire, but how can she retire when she keeps scoring like that? Another great try for T Birds. Ending his conversion. Score is now 36 0 for Seabirds. It looks like T Birds are making a couple of substitutions. Hannah takes a run up, great kick, oh, and it's oh just hit the posts. Just bounced left of the post, that's unfortunate. Great attempt, wind assisted. So the score remains at 36 nil. making a couple of substitutions too. So Sophie Scanlon to restart the game. Oh, not gone 10. Bit of a miss kick there, I believe. So we're back to the centre point. Scrum down to Thurrock. down the right wing looking for her first try of the day there's no one going to catch her today there she goes great try for Ola another five in the bag there for T-Birds Brings the 
score to 41 nil. Pending this conversion by Hannah. <laughs> Tiani Hassan was saying earlier about just before the uh, it was in the first half when it cut out that Ola made a great run well she just made another great run and scored on the end of it so well done Ola <laughs> Unfortunately, that one's just missed. So the score remains at 41 nil. Westcliff making some more changes. I told you someone was calling in. Just do it. Yeah, I've got it. Have you got light? Sophie Scanlon to restart us again. This wind is proving difficult. She's managed to keep it low this time. Cookie picks it up. Long ball over. Missed. Finally picked up by Kat. Elsie calling for the ball. Ball kicked. Bouncing wild. Westliff can't pick it up. Now Elsie's coming for it. Great tackle there by Elsie. Assisted there by Megs, I think that was. Driven forward even though they're down. Another great tackle there by T-Birds. Still in possession. Westcliff that is. Ola shouting instructions to get the T-Birds to come right. Low kick there by Westcliff. Westliff supporters calling for a knock on there, but the ball went backwards. Even though the player went forwards. On, Shipping the ball to the centre again. That's Tammy with the ball, driving forward another five metres. T Bird still attacking. <laughs> Cookie kicks crossfield. Ball goes to Westcliff player, catches it well and tries to make a break through the middle. Great tackle there by Frank, I think that was, I'm not sure. So, T Birds penning Westcliff in their own half. Way through Holly not an allow it, taking it to ground. You really don't want to get in a wrestling match with Holly. Now Elsie bringing it to ground. Westcliff try a kick. Holly picks it up. Very high tackle there even though the ref had already blown up for that knock on Viola. Oh. I've just been informed that I don't think the scrums are being contested now. I know Westcliff have had a couple of their front row, uh, second row come off. Perhaps that's the reason. And Farrakh have agreed to oblige. Yeah, looks like they're just standing there now. A shame because the scrums were quite evenly matched and gave a good spectacle. Westcliff finding a little chink in the arm of the seabirds there. Running for the for the line. Being denied at the last minute, and the ball's been passed forward. The closest Westcliff have come to a, a try. It's a shame. But good attempt there by the, the Westcliff runners. Yeah, a 
again uncontested. Looking for a big hit here from Hannah, which we get. Picked up by Westcliff, by Charlotte, I believe. Someone screaming Charlotte from the sideline. The T Birds back into position on the 22. Cookie dragging anyone and everyone over the top. <laughs> Hannah straight in there, brings the, I think that's the number three to ground. Elsie now in attendance. Oh, and the ball's been snatched. Griff Deans has been a knock on by Thurrock. I never really see the point of uncontested scrums. I know, you know, if you haven't got the the, the players to to be in a, a contested scrum, but everyone just standing and letting the ball roll out. Just, Seems a bit pointless to me. If someone can explain to me why. Westcliff again looking for that way through. Mix there with a little bit of a high high ish tackle. There's lots of screaming at her there, but continues. They're still making their way forward. Looks like Westcliff have had a renewed sense of urgency in her. Finding a way through, there's another Westcliff player down. Can't see who that is. Team that's on the floor. Martha Smith, I think. I think 13, not 18, 13. Martha Smith. That is if they're wearing the uh, correct shirts, of course. Everyone's calling out Queenie, but I've got Queenie down as number six, and it was number four that's coming on, so I'm a little bit confused. So apologies if I'm calling out the wrong names, but the team sheet I've been given has these numbers. So Westcliff to kick into the wind to try and find touch. And they found touch straight on the bonnet of a car. <laughs> In the car park, that is. Retrieved. Oh, just come over from the car park. And then the old ball's come back. Oh, and nearly hit the ref. <laughs> I think Brad. Oh, come on, 
taken for me. I'll just hand the mic over. <laughs> Ball taken straight into the hands of the T-Birds. Meg's now making a run through the centre. Thought I heard the rest whistle then, but clearly not. Chip back to Hannah. Hannah with another boot downfield. Elsie chasing it hard. Westcliff trying to collect, they have. Elsie's not letting her go though. Job done, ready to reset. Westcliff still in possession. <laughs> dragging up the team as well. There's Elsie again, dragging her across the floor. Westcliff still in possession, coming across to the right. Megs to beat, Megs takes her down. We'll leave Westcliff not releasing. Another Westcliff player down. Scarlet fraternising with the T Birds. Scarlett used to play for Farrak a while back. Now gone over to her hometown, back to Westcliff. Giving the uh, the usual T-bird chant, and the T-bird's not responding. We're trying to get them to give us a bit of a wave. They're too focused on the game. Cookie. It's the wind. <laughs> Cookie responds at last. Looks like the uh, Westcliff player's coming off. I think it's a knee she's injured. Can't see which player this is, but she's being replaced by Sarah Needham, if the numbers are correct. It looks like it's Kirsty Johnston that's come on. So, could keep the kick to touch. <laughs> She goes the opposite way to what they're thinking. Thurrock driving up hard. Nice little switch there instead of kicking the touch. We try to make ground. T Birds are doing it. Looks like Ola's on the streak again. Tearing down that right wing. All on her own. She's loving it. She's loving it today. There it is again, there's number two for Ola. Yeah. 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 That brings the score to 46 nil for our T Birds. Hannah with the conversion attempt. It's 
just fallen short. So the score remains at 46 0 for Barrack T Birds. <laughs> To, to restart us after that last T-Bird try by Ola. The wind's really got up, so it'll be interesting to see what this ball does. Nice and low. Through the legs. Now Meg's running with the ball. Looked like a bit of a high tackle, but she's brought it to ground. Kick it out to Holly. Holly across the field. Ball's gone loose. Loosey goosey. Tammy picks it up and drives forward. She's got about eight players on her. Box kick there by Cookie. Elsie and a number of the other girls tearing down the pitch trying to make this. Westcliff pick it up. Is she going to be intercepted in her own half? Yes, she is. Brought to ground. Burrock offside. There's another Westcliff player on the floor. No, oh, she's up again. Kick to touch. It's found it by the fire exit of the school. Well, I'm assuming that's a fire exit. I'm making this up as I go along. Again. Ball being shipped to the centre, Hannah to Elsie, Elsie to Holly. Holly's now going to go for a run, kicking her heels up, straight past the last player. Yes, she's made it. Running down that wing, supported by two of her players, Elsie and uh, Megs. Not needed. Holly runs for the sticks and dumps the ball. Another great try by our Furrick T Birds. Brings the score to 51 0 Thurrock T Birds. Game. So the final score is 51 0 Thurrock T Birds. Thurrock T Birds 2 go unbeaten the whole of this season. Every single game. They've won the league, won every single game, and now through to the finals in the Papa John's Cup. Amazing season for Thurrock. T Birds 1 also won the league and as I said earlier uh, one game away against Sam from the uh, final of their cup which will also be at Twickenham if they win against Sal and the men came in at fourth in their league this year I understand the best they've done in about 10-11 years so great season for Farrakh Rugby Football Club if you're interested in playing rugby, for the men or the women, both recruiting at the moment. Yeah, yeah. 
all standards catered for. As you can see, we've got a second team, which is also a winning team. There's a couple of the girls here who've never played rugby before, a couple of them who are footballers. So if you're interested in doing sport, come along to Rugby Football Club on a Wednesday evening around about 7 o'clock and watch the girls train. Join in. Come and join us. brings the season to an end as I said we're going off to Papa John's Cup in Twickenham in May the men have uh, their their Papa John's Cup semi I believe it is next week here at Farrock Oakfield so if you fancy coming down to, to watch a good game of rugby that'll be interesting anyway see you next time thank you and goodbye